Hi, my name is Derek Humphreys and I'm Developer Engagement Lead here with MasterCard. In this video, I'd like to show you how to uh, implement one of the popular use cases for open banking APIs, and that's around KYC or know your customer. So you see in front of me, uh, I have already my Postman open. There's another video that will be linked in the description, which shows you how to get this far, how to actually set up your account, how to set up your credentials, how to get access to the APIs, how to authenticate, and actually how to submit test transactions and everything. So, but this is one going to be very much focused on a particular use case around KYC. What I mean by KYC is, uh, KYC to know your customer is a flow or a set of processes you typically have to go through to identify that your customer is who they say they are. And it usually is quite a manual process and involves uh, checking their credentials and utility bills and photographic uh, government IDs and everything else. But with open banking, you can leverage the KYC that a bank has already carried out. So all of us who've got bank accounts have gone through that process. We've brought in utility bills, we've brought in photo ID, we've proved we are who we say we are, we've proved we live at the address we say we do, we've proved that the email address and phone numbers we have are all accurate. And the bank takes pride in actually making sure they're all up to date all the way through us having that bank account. So what we can do here through open banking is kind of piggyback and leverage the KYC a bank has already carried out. So let's imagine a situation where uh, maybe you've got an app that works and helps pharmacies and you want to allow customers to set up an account to be able to process prescriptions or something like that and you want to make sure the user is who they say they are and lives at the address that they say they live at because you might be posting out uh, 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 drugs or whatever it happens to be so what you can do here is once you've gone to the process of getting that customer to authenticate with their bank and grant you permission through a token to access their bank account details. You can then come in here and get a list of the accounts that they have available. So I'm gonna get, get customer accounts. So there's the list. We're gonna use the customer ID that we configured and set up in the previous video. And we're just gonna set send. So it gives us back three accounts that as a test customer, I actually gave permission to. There was a credit card, there was a checking account, and there was a savings account. So let's take the savings account this time, which is here. And there's our savings account ID. So I'm gonna go back into our environment variables and look at the account ID and change it, because last time I was playing around with the checking account. So, once I've got the account, what I want to do now is I want to find out from the bank what name do they have on file and what address do they have on file for this customer. And then I can compare it against credentials or details that they may have already provided me. So to do that, I actually just simply call get account owner. And here we've already set up our base URL, our customer ID is already configured as a variable, and I've just added in the uh, account ID variable. Excuse me. And so when I hit send, it comes back and gives me the name of the person. Is it the name that the bank has for that person? So it should be valid and their full address that they've also validated. So I can now use that to, come to make sure that any credentials or details the customer has shared with me are valid without me having to go off and do a similar exercise of sending them out post or having to get them to bring in utility bills. I can leverage the work that the bank has already done to shorten and streamline my KYC uh, process. And that's one of the beauties of the open banking API. Thank you for your time. I hope you check the description to follow other videos in this series on how to use and integrate with our open banking APIs. Thank you again. Bye.